This video demonstrates how to use the Maptitude Routing and Directions Manager. Make sure that your map contains the Here Street layer that is included in your country package. First, click this button or choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Routing and Directions Manager. There are several ways to choose the locations that you want to visit on your route. The first method is to enter an address. For example, I want to start at my office, so I'll enter 1172 Beacon Street, and then I can enter the city and state or just the postal code, 02461. When I click Add, the first stop is added to the itinerary. A second method is to click this button and use a point layer. This is particularly useful if you have many stops that you want to add. Choose the layer to use, in my case the customer layer. Choose whether to use all records in the layer or a filtered selection set. If you have a field that lists the order to visit the stops, you would choose it here. Otherwise, choose None to have Maptitude determine the order, or if you want to specify the order manually in the Routing Manager. Choose a field to use to identify the stops. I'm going to use the Customer Name field that Maptitude has already suggested. And finally, if your layer contains fields with information on stop duration or times, you can optionally specify those fields here. When I click OK, you can see that my customers have now also been added to the itinerary. The last method for adding stops is to use this tool to manually click on the map at stop locations. If I right click on a stop in the routing manager, you can see that there are several options. I can schedule, rename, or remove a stop. For example, I'm going to schedule a 30 minute stop with this customer, and I'm going to remove this last stop that I manually added. You can also change the order of the stops by highlighting a stop in the list and using either of these buttons to move the stop up or down. Once the stops are in an order that you want to visit them, click Get Directions. Maptitude finds the fastest route to visit the stops in your specified order. You can see that this route covers 85.9 miles and requires 3 hours and 48 minutes of driving time. Click the plus buttons to see the directions from stop to stop. For example, here are the directions from stop 9 to stop 10. You can also click this button to create a PDF file with the route directions. The first page will show the overall route with successive pages showing the stop to stop directions and maps. Now instead of manually setting the stop order, you can have Maptitude optimize a route that requires less driving. If I click Optimize, you can see that Maptitude finds a route that is much faster. This route is only 42.9 miles and requires just 2 hours and 37 minutes of driving. There are several additional route options available in the Routing Manager. Click this button to open the Route Options dialog box. On the General tab, you can choose whether to find the route based on distance or travel time, choose what color to display the route, and choose to use the stop names on the map instead of numbers. On the Driving Speeds tab, you can make adjustments based on the road class. And on the Itinerary tab, you can set the driving schedule and fuel consumption parameters. I'm going to set a stop duration of 10 minutes at each stop. I also want to return to my office when I'm done, so I'm going to right click on the first stop, choose Choose as End, and confirm that I also want this stop to be my last stop. Now if I click Optimize again, you'll see that the route now returns to my office where I started and it will take 5 hours and 25 minutes of driving and stopping time. Click this button to save a route. Click this button to clear stops and routes. And finally, you can click this button to open a saved route. And that wraps up this tutorial on finding roots with Maptitude.